you. Let me see if I can get this going. Still says plans on going live. Wonder why. Won't let me do this. I hope it's not gonna do double. It's, it's ten seconds. Hi. Let's see what happens. I'm already live there. Hmm. Let's see. I don't know what I'm doing. Let me see if I can find my post. <laughs> no, it's not there. I'm trying to bring it up. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Okay. Mute. I think we're good. I have one person watching. Say hi. My mother-in-law standing over here. <laughs> we have a visitor. Okay. Okay, let me see if I can get this. Oh, I have three people now. Hi. Okay, I think that'll work. Say hi if you're here. I'm just getting set up. I tried to start my chat bot. I want to see if it's going to work. Okay. Let's move the camera. I think that's a good angle. Let's see. It has a delay, so I need to let it get caught up. Okay, I think that's a good angle. We're going to make a candy cane wreath. And I'm going to try the Santa hat. So we'll see what we can do with this stuff. Let me put this over here. Okay, so what you need is um, a candy cane form. I get these from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to use this ribbon because I wanted to do something different. And we're going to, um, this is going to be what the um, candy cane is made out of. And then we're going to use this ribbon to make a bow, some of the green and the blue, because there's a lot of pink here. And then I'm going to add some of the um, mesh tubing. And let me see, where's my 
things here. I need some zip ties. Maybe three. And some ornaments we're going to add. I'm going to plug in my thing here. Thank you. Plug in my glue gun. So if you're here, say hi. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. I paused. Hi, Savannah. Can you guys hear me? Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Hello. So I'm going to show you how to make this candy cane. Well, I don't even need to cut this. So um, I've seen other people make this and... Hi, Janet. I um, do the best I can my own way. I try to learn and then make it my own. So what we want to do is attach the um, ribbon to the end of this. And this is where it gets tricky because I always have difficulty starting this thing, figuring out how I want it to start. Okay, so I'm folding it in half here. I'm going to turn it over. Can you see me? Let me see if I can get closer. Let me turn the camera on. Oh, barely. Okay. So I'm going to take one of my zip ties and attach it here. So let me get this guy on first. So I'm going to hide it in the back and then we're going to fold it over. So fold it in half. I'm going to stick it through the um, zip tie to where the folded edge is out this way because that's the part that I want to show as I'm wrapping this around. We're just going to wrap, 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 wrap. So I'm sticking this through the zip tie like this. I think that's how I wanted it. Let me think about it for a second. Um... Um, let me see. Do that and then go around. Let's see. How did I do this last time? Like that. Okay. So I fold it, stick it in there. I'm going to pull this tight and just leave a little end. You don't want it right up, in the, right up against the zip tie because you don't want it to um, come out. And pull it as tight as you can. Get my. I never use my scissors cutting these things because it ruins the scissors. So I use my um, wire cutters. Snap that off, and then what I'm going to do is open it. And I'm actually going to um, wrap it around the end of the candy cane. I'm going to fold it over. I turn my glue on because I'm going to end up gluing it down because it makes it nice and neat. See how that came out. So now it covers the end there. And then I'm just going to um, keep folding it and wrapping it. And I'm pulling it tight so it doesn't come apart. Let me see that. So it gives it a nice clean edge there. And then when I'm done, let me make this a little bit tighter. When I'm done, I'm going to go back through with the glue. But right now I'm just worried about wrapping it. So it's nice and neat in there. And you won't see any of that. See that? Say hi as you come on. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm just wrapping it. There we go. See how nice that looks? Pull more ribbon. I got this ribbon from Sam's Club. I'm trying to make it as even as possible right here. Hi, Faith. Usually if I'm not talking, I can zip through one of these pretty quickly. It doesn't take that long after you get set up.
and I'm working backwards at home. I have all my stuff on my left hand side. Okay, so just keep folding and wrapping, pull out more ribbon, fold and wrap. It's not cooperating, there we go. There we go. Is anybody cooking today? Hi, Melinda. Who's making their turkey or ham or whatever you guys eat? And try my live alerts um, messenger bot. See if that'll work for you. I messed with it again today. I don't know. Might have to pay somebody to get it done for me. <laughs> oh, too much. I met my in-laws today. We came last night. Um, we'll be staying till tomorrow. We had breakfast. The kids are on their tablets. My husband and my father-in-law, I think my dad are outside. So see how we just keep wrapping it? Did you eat already? You cooked both? I know it's still early over here. We're in um, Pahrump, Nevada, just outside of Las Vegas, so... We're on West Coast time, it's only 11 o'clock. We're having a deep fried turkey this year. Look at how nice that's coming out. This is gonna be super cute. Ooh, got glitter. Let me know if my messenger bot is working. Do you guys reply with live alerts? It should send you a message. Just type in live alerts below. Um, and my messenger bot will send you a message. Then you reply. You get signed up. Um, next time I go live, I'll send out a message if you're on my list. And I'll actually let you know when I'm going to uh, go live. Rather than trying to check the Facebook page. You know what I mean? Lucky, you ate already, you cleaned, and all your company's gone. <laughs> we haven't ate yet. We'll eat a little bit later. We just finished breakfast. Okay, so here's where it gets fun because it's kind of tricky with the, um, let me change this ribbon a little better. It's kind of tricky with this curve right here, but it still works out. Hi, Judy. Hi, Misty. Let me know if you got that message after typing live alerts to see if it worked. I don't know. I couldn't get it to work last time. I have to tell you that me and my husband were so funny. We have a, a private group set up just for the two of us, and we test our videos and our messenger stuff in there and it did not work last time so who knows what I'm doing wrong <laughs> I'd rather make a read <laughs> hi Pam okay so here's where the curve comes on you still keep that pretty tight and you're still folding it and rolling it. <laughs> Sounds like I'm doing drugs over here. <laughs> oh, too funny. This 
This is going to be pretty. Look at how nice that's coming out. Looks nice. If it worked, you would get a, a message to your messenger and it'll say, please reply. If that didn't happen, it is not working. So, <laughs> I don't know what I did. <laughs> oh, well, we'll get it set up. Trust me, you guys aren't missing out. We'll get it set up. We might have to find an expert and have them set it up for me. Okay, so this thing is folding a little wonky. Let's see. Um, I don't put anything to hang it with. I hang it right from the um, loop here. So I just hang it right up like that. I know um, some people will attach something so you could do like a, um, um, like make a piece of ribbon, attach it and fold it through. Um, I haven't done that before, but I think you can. You just I would probably attach it to maybe one of these um, bars right here. So I would attach it here, maybe tie it. You can hide the knot right inside the um, middle here and then just roll the ribbon right around it and pull it through. I'm sure that'll work if you wanted to try it. If you make this um, and you wanted that, Ribbon in the middle, I would say try it. All you have to do is unroll the ribbon if it doesn't work out, you know, and just uh, um, put it back together. The frame is from the Dollar Tree Coke tabs. Hmm, I've never tried that before. The frame is from the Dollar Tree. The ribbon is from um, Sam's. Um, the other things I'm going to use are from the mesh tubing I got from um, um, Craft Outlet, which is an online store. And this gets tricky here with the um, thing. Now I'm going back the other way. <laughs> Okay, I'm all backwards now. All right, there we go. Glitter is flying everywhere. Can you see? Sorry, I keep moving up out of the picture. Oh, this one folded more on the wrong side. We want it to show this way. See how nice that's coming out? I have no lighting today. I'm sitting in front of the window, so we have all natural light. I know in the last live I did, I was in the dark. Oh my gosh. Told my husband, we got to get something different set up here. That was insane. Okay, so keep going. Make sure that. So, did anybody, um, was anybody. Oh, watching my other live about the making the bow. Anybody here? Did you guys try it? If you tried it, I would love to see your your pictures. See what you guys uh, came out with. Okay, so here's the end. Um, this gets a little bit tricky too. So I know I fold it over. The end of it so I'm gonna go around again okay and now it's like it's sticking out because the end is right here let me see the end is right here but there's ribbon over here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually do it more so I have this nice end like this see so the end of the ribbon I mean actually comes right here so I have this nice fold so what I'm gonna do is I fold it over itself 
and I'm gonna cut it to where it's just a little bit shy of the end here. And before I glue it or anything, um, I don't remember how I did it last time. How did I do it? I think I just tucked it in itself and then glued the end to it. Let me see. See how that is and then poke it in there? I think that's how I did it. Don, I don't think the live alerts is working. Let me take that comment off of there. So, eh, it's okay. So, let me try this. Um, I don't remember if I did the, um, 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 what the heck is this thing called? <laughs> Brain fart. What is this thing called? The, um, whatever. I forgot. I don't remember if I did that last time. How would I get that? the end in there. We're not going to use it. Okay, so here, this is what I do. I get to the end, come over here, cut it a little bit short. Nice cut. Okay. My glue is zip nice. Tie. Zip tie. Thanks, my father-in-law yelling from outside. So I'm going to glue, see I have a little bit folded right here. I'm going to glue it down. Yeah, they have nothing better to do. <laughs> How cute. So then I'm going to go across like this. Try not to burn myself. Make sure it's down. Once this gets secured, then I'm going to go across and I'm going to feed more um, glue inside. But I want this to stick first. Okay, just make sure that's on there, and then I just take my glue and generously apply it in there because I want it to stay. Poke it down, don't burn yourself. And then I'm going to glue this more here and put a line up. Can you see? Sorry. Mine up there, and I'm going to go across here, and a little bit on the inside, too, to hold it all together. And without burning yourself, pull it a little bit tight. And then I'm just going to poke it in there. It'll go in. And then that's how the end looks. So it's nice and clean, all covered. Now, because I finished that end, I'm going to come over here. I don't know if I need to add any glue on here. I'm just going to do like a little spot right here, just on the end to hold that piece down. Maybe over here, too. But I don't think I need any. This is pretty tight down here because we zip tied the end. So. Hi, Belinda. Hi, Kathy. <laughs> okay, so there's the um, there's the candy cane. Now let's make a bow, and I only brought white. So normally, what I do is I'll take this um, and fold it in half. But we're gonna make a bow out of green and blue and if you saw my other live I couldn't find blue look what I found I found my blue it's not funny it was so dark in my office that this was shoved in the back I pulled all of them out sorry I pulled all of them out and this is what I found I found the blue so this matches this because remember I pulled out the teal and I don't want teal for that other thing that we did Okay, so this is where I have my mat. I'm measuring my um, ribbon. And we're going to make a cute little bow. So let's see. We do the ends here. 
Happy Thanksgiving. Remember to fold it in half and you're cutting on the folded edge. If you cut on the open edge, it gives you something different. Cut on the folded edge at an angle. And that gives you the dovetail. And this one already has it. So remember what I did. Um, and this is backwards, so I'm going to have to count backwards. <laughs> so I'm doing my, let's see, I'll turn it so you can see. I do my bows. Here's the end of my board. So I put my dovetail right at the end. And I go to six inches here, and I scrunch, 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 and I'm pinching it. And then I put it back on my here, on my um, one, and I'm gonna come out to 10 inches here, and I'm gonna scrunch, scrunch, scrunch. That makes one loop, okay? Then I, this is the same on both sides. Shiny, beautiful on both. Um, so I don't need to worry about a pattern and then no pattern. So, um, Take the pinch part and you put it back on the end. And I'm going to go to the 10. Let me pull my ribbon. And scrunch, scrunch, scrunch. Pull it up. Now it's pinched in the middle. Now remember my fancy tool? Fancy, guys. Look. All you have to do is pinch it. Now it's holding it. And then I um, cut the end. Do your dovetail. And now there's one piece. So I have my blue, let's do it with the green. Put it on the end, go to six, scrunch, scrunch, scrunch. Come back here, go to 10, scrunch again. This is the same thing, it is shiny on both sides. If you had a pattern on one side and not on the other, you would twist this to have your pretty side show on the outside, because you don't want to see ugly when you're making your bow. So go back to 10, scrunch, 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 bring it up, and it's always wired ribbon, because if you use non-wired ribbon, it gets floppy. You don't want a floppy bow. Here's my fancy tool, holds my ribbon, cut it, let's dovetail the end. There we go. So I'm just gonna alternate um, green and blue. I really like the blue, so I might do two green and I think three blue, just because I want the blue to really pop. And because I'm at the end of the spool on my green. <laughs> so here's another, hi Carolyn. Six inches, go to 10. I'm going to pull this off the end, back to the end of the spool. Another 10 inches, and look at that. We have just enough. So this one I don't need to cut, I just need to do the end. There we go. There's the green, let's do two more blue. Oh, good for you, Kathy. They are cute and fun. They're so easy. This one I'm going to do eight. Let's see. No, I need to do six because I need to do another blue. The last, the last blue one, I'm going to um, do eight inches. And this is perfect for um, packages, too, if you want to do gifts. Can do that. Doesn't have to be just for a wreath or a candy cane or whatever that you're making. Since it's the holidays, you can make some of these and throw them on your your uh, gifts. Okay, so this is the one where I'm going to do eight inches because I want the tails to be a little bit longer. So come out to eight and scrunch and pinch. I'm still doing the ten inch loop. Another 10 inch loop. A 
And then here's my third one. Now I want this one on the bottom because it's the longest one, so he's going to be last. So I'm going to take um, my blue first, get my pipe cleaner, take my blue one, fix your ribbons so they look nice. I don't like this guy poking up front, so maybe we'll do it this way. Fix your loops, fix your tails, make it to where you, how you like it. So I'm pinching it here. I'm taking the middle and I'm just putting it right over and I'm pulling it down. This is where we get real tight. So I'm pulling it this way with this hand and this one I'm pulling away and twisting at the same time. Just do a couple twists. You don't want to go and um, break it because then you'll have to start all over. Thank you, Kathy. This ribbon came from um, Sam's Club this year. And this is what we're putting it on, the candy cane. Um, so here's the blue. Then we get the green. We do the same thing. We want to make it pretty. We fix our loops. Fix the scrunch part. Fix our tails. And because the... Oh, hold on a second. I got to fix this blue one. I try to do it opposite. So I have loop tail and then tail loop. So I'm doing the same thing here. Tail loop, loop tail. I'm gonna do opposite of what I have here. So um, let's see how I can get this to fit. It's not gonna work out. Let me see, let's flip this the other way. There we go. So I have loop tail, loop tail, loop tail, and then I'm gonna flip this guy um, the other way. And then secure this. Do the same thing. With this hand, I'm pulling this way. And with this hand, I'm pulling on the pipe cleaner this way. And I'm going to twist so it gets it real tight. And there we go. So it's really starting to take shape. I kind of squish it up this way because I want to hide that white pipe cleaner down the middle. And I fix these. We want them all pointed up. So it's looking really cute that's going to look gorgeous on there so we did blue green so now we're going to do um, another blue get it ready okay kind of do the same thing going to put it on the middle i don't want the um blue to be the same right so let's kind of get these guys separated might have to fix your pipe cleaner. Let's see what we got here. We want to twist this. There we go. Does that make sense? You guys see that? Eh, mad faces are okay. <laughs> it's all engagement. It doesn't mean a thing. <laughs> okay, so see how that is? Starting to take shape here. Oh yeah, go for it, Kathy. And you work at Sam's, lucky girl. Oh, you can put ribbons on anything. Especially these bows. These are super simple. Especially, you know, I have a Pro Bow, um, which makes gorgeous ribbon. Or gorgeous bows. Absolutely gorgeous. Totally worth the money investment for me. But a lot of people don't have it. And you know what? These are easy to make. You can go, like I mentioned on my other live, go to the dollar store and buy a $1 roll of ribbon. Wired ribbon. Any ribbon, doesn't matter. And start practicing. Then, when you are feeling confident and comfortable with what you're doing, then go and get the fancy ribbon. Um, Sam's Club ribbon is perfect this time of year. One of these rolls, so they have 50 yard and they have 20 yard. Let me show you. So here, the pink one, I know it's backwards, but this is 50 yards. All of their ribbon is $6.98, I believe, or $6.96 or something like that. It's a funky number. It is $7. 
you can't go wrong. So take the time, learn about making the bows on the cheap ribbon, and then go buy the fancy stuff. You know what I mean? So here we go. Yay! So I put the um, bow on there, kind of opposite of what's going on. So now I have the blue, the green. It's kind of breaking up the colors. Move this over here. See, that's good. So again, I'm pulling this way with this hand and this way and twisting. Twist it twice. Don't want to break it. Kind of pushing it up a little bit. Ooh, see, let me move it towards and you can see it not in the comments. And with the natural light, it's really shining through here. Okay, so now I'm going to put the last one. Remember, this one had the long tails on it. Hi, Ann. Happy Thanksgiving. So this one, we are going to just put it in there anywhere. No big deal. Okay, this one I should do a couple more turns because it's the end of it and I don't want it flying off for any reason. You never know. Okay, fix it up a little bit. There we go. So, I'll fix my loops because we want them sitting forward. But I kind of want the tails pointed down and that's what I'm going to put on the um, candy cane. Kind of do it, um, let's do it up a little bit right there. I think that looks good. Now the other candy cane I made, I did my bow on the Pro Bow and I used wire, but this is fine. I really want to show you guys how to do something if you don't have all the fancy tools. Okay, so all I'm doing is I'm taking this, it's long enough, pulling it really tight and twisting it, getting a good snug um, thing on there. Oh, mad faces are fine. It doesn't matter. It's all engagement. It all means the same thing. You can give me a uh, hundred loves, likes, and a mad face. It still adds up. It's whatever. <laughs> okay, so there's that part. See? Now, my mother-in-law just gave me these um, bulbs here. So, let's... I don't like using my scissors for anything, but... These are, okay, these are fancy scissors. Not really, they came from my knife block. So as soon as I got new knives, um, I snagged this up. And I've only ever used it in my craft room. So, no, I got it, it's fine, thank you. <laughs> I have helpers today. <laughs> Okay, so what we're going to do is, um, oh, I have some of this too. So, let's back up a little bit. We're going to take some of this and loop it, and we're going to actually make it look cute. I've never done this before, so we're just going to um, give it a try. Um, I usually do 24 inches. My board is, my mat is 24, is it 24? Yeah, 24 inches. I have one of the smaller ones. Um, I'm just going to measure out 24 inches. Let's put a couple, let's put three of them on there. Just because we want to add just a little bit, something extra to these. Now I know you can't get these colors, I don't think, at the Dollar Tree, but they have other ones. Like if you're doing a candy cane that doesn't have the pinks in it, I know a lot of people aren't really turned on by the pink colors for Christmas and stick to traditional, but you can get the other um, traditional colors at the Dollar Tree for the um, mesh tubing. Okay, so there's that. So this is how I do my mesh tubing. I take the ends, and there's two ways you can do this. If you want it to be more of a loop showing, I'll show you that way. Then there's another way where you have more of the end showing. So this is if you want the loop showing. I take the two ends and I kind of put them together like this. They're only overlapping just a tiny bit and you have this loop. Then I pinch it in the middle 
and bring it over together here, and this is where I'm twisting it together. This is how I attach them to my wreaths. Now you have this here. Um, let me get another pipe cleaner. And we're going to just put some of these together. I'm gonna do them both ways so I can show you. We're just gonna attach it behind the um, bow so it shows. So do the same thing, pull and twist, okay? Now here's the other way to do it. So you take the ends. Happy Thanksgiving, hi guys. Hi Anne Marie, hi Rochelle. So you take the ends like this, okay? And instead of doing a loop here, you're gonna do a tiny loop. So you're doing a little bow. So your ends are sticking out here and you have this little um, figure eight bow tie here and this is where you're gonna twist it. And then now this part will stick out here. So you have bows sticking out, you have ends sticking out. Um, the same thing we did with the ribbon, you're just gonna pull and twist and get that on there. And then let's do one more because we want this to stick out. I don't know what it's gonna look like, guys. I'm just winging it, I've never done this before. Let's do, no, let's do another Let's do another small loop because I want those ends sticking out. See that? And then we'll just attach it on here again. Actually, I'm going to turn this the other way, sideways, so I can get it to go crisscross. So the ends were going this way, now I'm doing it to where they're going this way. And just pull and twist. So here we go, we have this whole thing here. I'm not sure how much of this is gonna show up. Actually, you know what? We're gonna put it on top of the bow because I have these ornaments and I'm gonna glue them right over top. What do you guys think? Look at that. I think that's gonna work awesome. Okay, so then we gotta find the middle here, feed this down. I want to go around the ribbon because it's going to show. Normally, I would use um, wire for this because I don't want it to show. So you guys can um, do that. I'm just going to do this for the um, video's sake. But if I was at home, I would do the wire because this white is showing a lot. But that's okay. You guys get the point. No big deal. So I'm just feeding the pipe cleaner around the bows and the loops, and then I'm going back and adjusting it. Can you see that? Yep. Okay, so we're going to flip it over. Do the same thing. I'm going to pull it opposite directions because I have the end from this side and the end from that side. Pull it as tight as I can and twist it. Twist, twist, twist. We don't want this coming apart. I twist it a few times. Um, I take my wire cutters and I'm cutting the end so it's not too long and then kind of feed it to the back. So that's what the back looks like. Um, if I had my wire, you wouldn't really um, see it too much. But this is how the front looks like. Cute, huh? Not bad for just going with it. And see, that's how you make it your own. Everybody has their own way of doing things. I don't like to copy anybody. I like to learn and then um, make it my own. Okay. Okay, so let's do... Let's do... We don't want red, so let's move these guys. Can you see? Yeah, you can. Let me get to my glue gun here. I did not bring my glue pot. Otherwise, I would be using my glue pot. Um... And dipping these guys in here. Let me clean up some of this mess. Okay, let me get another glue stick ready. Move some of this stuff out of the way. <laughs> or pink pipe cleaners, yes. I would use, um, I only brought my box of white pipe cleaners. I would normally use the color that this coordinates with. Any of these three colors would be perfect because the color plays into 
um, what you're doing. The green, the blue, or the pink, I would have used. I don't even think I have any of those colors. I have a lot of neutral colors and a lot of the traditional red and green um, um, colors. So let's do, let's do some pink. Let's see, we don't need the ends on here. So I just, sorry, I just popped this right off. I don't need that. If I had my glue pot at home, I would actually take the end of this, dip it in, get this all covered with glue, and then stick it on here. But we are just going to, um, there's no purple on here, but God, that's a gorgeous purple color. Look at that. Can you see? Let me move this around a little bit. And this sparkly blue, let me see. Maybe like, the, oh, look at that. That looks good, right? Eh, we're gonna try it. So let's pop these guys off. We don't need these ends if they come off. If they don't wanna come off, we're going, oh, that would come off. Smash my hand. I was gonna say, if they don't wanna come off, I would take my uh, wire cutters to them. This is where we're gonna glue up the hole and we don't want this falling off. I'm just going to town on the glue. Like I said, if I had my glue pot, I would just do up the glue pot. Just hold it on there. Kind of, I'm kind of smashing it down a little bit to where it gets all in there. We want it all in the business, right? Hi, Angie. So, this is really inexpensive. Um, normally with crafts, you guys, you're paying for someone's time and um, creativity. Um, and I normally I would I've been selling my um, my candy canes for twenty nine ninety seven on my Etsy page. So that's what I would put this up with. That's what I would put this up for. Everybody loves them. They are cute and easy. And I have all these glue strings all over. They're like spider webs. And I hate spiders. I hate spider webs. I'm just holding this down so it's um, sticking on there. Aw, thank you, Angie. Happy Thanksgiving, you guys. We haven't ate yet. We are, I'm in Las Vegas. It's still morning here. It's only 11.46, so we'll eat a little bit later. We had breakfast. I'm at my in-laws in Pahrump, outside of Nevada, or Las Vegas. Okay with my parents here too. Okay, so I'm just gonna hold these down. God, that worked out well. I'm so glad she gave me those things. <laughs> Rochelle. Girl, I would have died too. Uh-uh, I can't handle spider webs. No way. Okay. I'm just gonna hold down the pink one a little bit longer. I've only been going since 11. That's not bad, huh? Okay, so I think we're done. Look at how cute that is. Let me move the, um, let me adjust my camera. So you can see, hi, you can see my face. <laughs> okay guys, look at that. I will hang it on the wall somewhere. I'll ask my mother-in-law where I can hang it, and then I'll take some pictures and post it and show you what um, what the end result looks like on the wall. Isn't that pretty? Super cute, fast, easy, no big deal. You only need a few tools to make it happen. Nothing special, but God, this is an amazing gift. I mean, anybody can make it. Oh, see the pink's popping off. Anybody can make it, and um, perfect for a gift. Who wouldn't love this? I'm thinking of giving this as a white elephant gift. Wouldn't that be great? 
Yay! Hi, babe. My daughter just walked in. So I'm just holding the pink down. Um, I'm going to get cleaned up here, um, fix my station, and then I want to make another one for you because I owed you guys a live from yesterday. Um, so I'll do, this is my live for yesterday, and then the next thing I'm going to make will be my live for today. <laughs> so I'm going to say give me about till, well, my time, 1230, so about 40 minutes. Um and then I'll uh, jump back on, do a live. We'll, I'll show you the Santa hat that we're going to make. We're going to be cutting mesh and all that, too. So hopefully this guy stays. What do you think? Adorable. Absolutely Yay. adorable. There you go, Yay. guys. Thumbs up. Give me some likes and shares, loves. Um, if you make it, I would love to see your picture. Post it for me. Um, share with everybody. Um, yeah, there we go. Thank you guys. I'll see you in about 40 minutes. We're going to come back and make, let me grab it and show you. I bought one of these from the Dollar Tree, took all that stuff. Actually, my husband took all the stuff off of me. <laughs> it was a Halloween witch's hat, but we're going to make a Santa hat out of that. They're kind of popular. Um, so I tried one the other day and I'm going to um, show you guys how to do that too. Okay. So give me about... Uh, 40 minutes and then we'll be back. Thanks. Bye.